guys, how's it going? I'm Samantha and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about smoky eyes. So today we are broadcasting from my office. Again, we had some water issues, so I can't use my makeup room right now. So please bear with me, but at least the sound is fixed because I had the microphone sitting right here. Um, so let's get into it. So we are going to be doing a smoky eye today. I guess really with your smoky eye, you want it to look, you know, dramatic. That's, that's the way that I see a smoky eye. You can do this in literally any shade that you want to do. Me personally today, I'm going for grays and blacks, um, just to be a little bit more dramatic. I like to be dramatic. And then we'll do a full beat after that. So I've got my colors here in front of me. I've got my brushes here in front of me. With a smoky eye, you technically can do this with three brushes. You can possibly get away with doing it with two brushes. I'll probably use one, two, three, four brushes in total, maybe five. Um, just make sure your brushes are always clean. I know mine aren't today because I didn't have time to wash them, but I only use them on my own face. However, if you never washed your brushes, you are looking for, um, that's a good way to start a breakout on your face. Be careful. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab my Nightmare Before Christmas palette. This one is from Revolution, or sorry, Makeup Revolution. And this is Jack. I'm gonna take a soft bristled long brush. Um, you can use pretty well any kind of brush you want. Um, this is just the one that I'm gonna prefer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this shade here, Bones, I'm gonna put it all over my lid as a base. Sorry, I've been a little MIA lately. I've been extremely busy between work and life and you know, all the excuses that I could give, but truly I've just been crazy busy. Um, I've got my trip coming up and I've got a weight loss program that I'm working on, which, you know, that takes up quite a bit of my time, plus being a full-time mom and I work full-time, so it's busy to say the least. I'm gonna grab this angled brush here and I'm going to take the shade graveyard here and I'm going to put that in my crease and also at the end of my upper lid. I don't know what it's like where you guys are at but if you're here in Fort McMurray you understand this with me. It is so cold here lately and it's May. Like why is it so cold? We should have like a little bit of sunshine by now, I would think, but I guess Mother Nature just has other plans for us. We just came back from a walk with good old little Miss Selfie and it was chilly. My hands were really cold when I got back. So as you can see, I'm putting it here and up in here. When it comes to um, putting it down in here, you can just go really lightly because it tends to go a little further than you actually think it does. So you'll see sort of in the final product how that works out. So I'm just doing the same over here on the other side. But like I said, you can do this in any set of shades that you want. I'm just choosing the grays right now. Probably because it's kind of rough here. I'm going to do grays and blacks for now. So I have said this before in my other videos, but if you missed that. So the closer down the brush that you hold it, the more product is going to show on your lid. So if you hold it back here, it's just going to be a bit more of a lighter touch. So it goes on a lot lighter than if you were to hold it down by the base. I it's a force of habit for me. I tend to hold it down here, but again, I like to be a little bit more dramatic, so that works for me. And then the next shade that I'm going to take, I'm going to take another sort of um, stiffer brush, and I'm going to use the shade. Oh, this one. I'm going to use the shade 
Noir, out of the um, Soft Glam by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my everyday palette, but it just happens to be the only palette that I have that has the Noir shade. So I go in with a little bit of a lighter touch on this one. And we're just going to fill in sort of beneath that crease and the tail end of your eye. We're going to use, like I said, a lighter touch. So we're going to hold the brush further down on the end. We're going to blend inwards from that edge. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to set this brush aside because we are going to come back to that brush afterward. I'm going to take a flat rounded eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pick up again my Jack palette here and I'm going to use the shade Mummy Boy down here and that's going to go on the inside of the upper lid and what I'm going to do actually instead of brushing necessarily I'm going to press I'm going to press the color in the way that I want it so it sits exactly where I want it and if you do it that way you tend to have just a little bit less fallout than if you were to be brushing it with that amount of color because I did press in here probably four or five times just to pick up lots of color so if you're pressing it on your lid you tend to have just a little bit less fallout another way to ensure that it stays on the brush and then onto your lid is you can spray your brush with setting spray ahead of time or water if you don't have any setting spray and then put it on your lid it tends to stay a little bit better um, there's a few eyeshadow tricks that you can do and if you're interested in that let me know down below and I can make another video on that and then we're gonna pick up our um, brush that we had used for the noir color and we're going to grab the palette that had noir in it and we're going to just I only dabbed it once and then we're just going to gently brush it in again notice I'm holding sort of the end of the brush and you're just going to brush it in to blend it so that it doesn't look like the color just stops you want to blend it out. I've heard there's a thing as, such as too much blending and what that does is it just disappears the color altogether. But I find with this one you have to blend really well or it just looks like the color stops. And don't worry that the top here is a little bit messy. I'll show you what we're going to do with that here soon. Just going to come a little bit closer. I know it's kind of hard to see just because like the way the light is with the camera. So I'm just going to lean forward and that's sort of what we're working with right now. So I'm just going to even out the other side and then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, and then you can just sort of clean up any bit, like especially down closer to the eye. Just make sure it's got that really solid color down here. And then if you like, totally up to you, it's your discretion, you can take an even lighter shade and just put it on the inside corners of your eyes. So I'm going to do that now. And if you're using the same palette as me, if not, that's cool too. No big deal. As long as you have something, um, some set of colors that you want to do, if you want to replicate this at the same time, it doesn't matter. It can be whatever colors you like. But I'm going to use 
the shade What's This? And I'm going to use a very thin brush, like this one right here. And I'm just going to place that on the inside corner here, just to give it a little Okay, so now we have the inside color, just a little bit. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a clean brush, we're gonna take a clean fluffy brush, and we're just gonna clean up the edges here. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the outside of your color, and you're gonna windshield wiper your eye until you get blended lines so that it's not so, or so it's not such a harsh edge. And mine was like a jagged edge. There was no harshness to it whatsoever. So I'm just blending it out to make it nice and smooth. So that right there is your basic smoky eye. It's, um... It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get used to it, it's really nice. Like I said, um, I like the dramatics when I'm with a little bit darker shade. Honestly, I could even take it darker than this. This is something that I would wear, say, out to dinner, or uh, if I was going out with the girls, or, you know, what have it, I would do this. Um, I'm going to take it one step further, and I'm going to grab a sharp edged brush. And I'm going to take the, oh, I'm going to use the Jack's House shade we have, oh, sorry. I'm going to use the Jack's House shade we have over here. And I'm going to put that directly underneath of my waterline on the bottom to sort of, um, again, give me just a little bit more edge. And you can take this in as far as you are comfortable. I'm going to go all the way over to where I had just put that little pop of shine on the inside corner. And I'm going to pull it all the way out to a wing. But not like a sharp wing. Again, you can't even really see it because of my lashes. So I'm just going to take it right up with those lashes and it just blends into the dark color over there on the side. And I'm just going to do the same on this side. So if you didn't want to take this all of the way in, um, you could take it, honestly, just underneath of the lashes over here on the edge. You could pull it all the way out to the center on both sides, or you could pull it all the way in. I want it to go all this way, so I am. The only other things that I would do if I were doing a smoky eye, I could do uh, a winged liner on the top to sort of blend in with it. I could do um, black in the waterline down in here. You can use gel. You can use um, one of these eyeliner pencils. This one's the Annabelle one. They're like six, seven, eight dollars for a pencil at Shoppers Drug Mart. These are great. I've been buying these since my freshman year of high school. I love them. What else could you do? Um, well, if you don't have your lashes done, you would put mascara on with it, um, depending on what you prefer. If you did the dark, dramatic color like I am, you could use uh, black mascara. You could use 
my goodness, you could use blue mascara. You could do any dark colored mascara, purple, green. You could, if you did a brown smoky eye, you could put on brown mascara if that's what you're more comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with black mascara, there's so much you can do. And that's the fun part about makeup is you can do what you want and then it just comes off later. So it's always fun to just play and try something different. And I do really love it. I'm going to do a quick face beat. And there you have it. That is my smoky eye look. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit that subscribe button. I upload sort of how to's and whatnot on Tuesdays. And on Saturday, we have a spooky story Saturday. So you can come and check that out if you like. And I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.